And what's up, Libra? Welcome to Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquette. Hope everyone is enjoying this beautiful, beautiful day. Yes, we are a couple of weeks away from the summer. So hope you guys have your vacation package booked. <laughs> hope you got it booked earlier else. Ugh, the prices, right? But either way, Libra, let's go ahead and hop into this message. See what beloved wants you to know today. I don't know why I felt like singing. Someone can be a singer, some type of performer, sing in the shower or just sing around the house. But I felt a lot of joy in that moment. So let's see what's up. Beloved, what's the message you have for your Libras? What's the message you have for your Libras, please? Wow, barely could flip it. Of course, why not? Like you a Libra, why wouldn't your focus card be relationships? But is there some type of tension in your relationship, some type of separation, or what's going on with it? Let's go ahead and jump in. Beloved, can we please clarify this relationship energy for Libra, please? Thank you so much in advance, my love. the bottom of the deck the three of wands anticipation someone's anticipating something here um is it is it a call or a text or something is somebody supposed to do something for you i don't know why i get somebody supposed to come to someone's home and like do some type of work on their home or i don't know their garden lawn or something like that now i'm a little worried libra because I know you've seen that the King of Wands was the first card out, right? And I don't really read reversals. But this King of Wands came out like that, right? Kind of, they are promiscuous, but maybe they trying to change their ways type vibe. Let's go ahead hop in. King of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Six of Wands. The Princess of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Swords. I'm getting heavy lifting requiring, do some, is somebody person a gardener or work outside or work construction or what's this energy I'm picking up? Um, so Libra... This person is so attractive to you, right? Like, it's just something about them. And when you think about them, it's just like, ooh, right? Like, it's that type of vibe. But I feel like this person has issues with infidelity. Like, I don't know if it's because of how attractive they are or how they carry themselves. But infidelity has been an issue either in or prior to your relationship, okay? These eight of wands is saying that like this person is doing a lot of um, telepathic communication with you right now. They're trying to really um, like get you to be the first to like call or to text or to um, DM them or make the first move or come over their house or come see them or something like that. Like they want you to kind of take the initiative they don't want to take the initiative this person wants to be the re on the receiving end of whatever is going on within this relationship i so got to get this tattoo covered up oh my goodness i've been thinking about this so much lately i'm like why at your age do you still have this tattoo it's not like i couldn't have got it covered but I'm trying to figure out, do I want a Virgo sign right there or what do I want? And I know I'm totally interrupting the reading, so maybe that's kind of how it goes within this relationship. It gets interrupted out of nowhere. But um, they want you to be the first to reach out, to 
engage in some form of communication. They don't want to be the first to engage in, like, it's like it, it helps them to keep their power in this relationship or to keep their power over you. It's, it, I'm feeling like it's an ego thing for why this person haven't reached out because they definitely waiting for it. They definitely want to hear from you. They definitely want to talk to you and say, hey, Libra, you know, yeah, I'm waiting for you. But you know what's so interesting to me is the way the cards are laid. I feel like this is a split energy because these cards all seem like it's in relation to this fire sign energy. You see all the orange, right? But when it comes to your energy, the queen of swords energy, you see all the blue. So your energy is totally different from this person. You're you thinking like, why the hell haven't you called me? Like, why is this person acting this way? Why did they just switch up on me? I've been sitting here. I've been waiting for this person. And I know that this person want me. But why haven't they just took an action that they need to take? So you guys energy, this is crazy. The synchronicity of how the energy is just split. Their energy on the top, your energy on the bottom. It's like, I don't know if you're getting to the point where you are going to be the one that takes the action, but I feel like this person definitely is like waiting for you to do something. I want to see. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. I stay. Oh my goodness. I just don't like people listening when I'm doing readings because I like to make them very personal. But what caused this split? What caused this split? Did someone ghost somebody or something? Or left them without answers? It feels like someone didn't get answers when someone left this relationship. Like, um, one day everything was cool. The next day it was like, now what just happened? And it doesn't seem like it was about another person. It just seemed like it was maybe, was it about, wait, hold on, before I assume, they're telling me to, to double check before I assume. Was the breakup about another person? The Nine of Pentacles. The Hermit. Nope. Cause that's kind of what I was getting. I didn't feel like the, the breakup was about another person. The breakup could have been because someone didn't want to commit or, um, or someone wasn't being committal in a relationship. I guess that's the same thing, right? But, um, someone that wasn't ready to be in a relationship. And maybe someone was trying to engage them and wanting to, and they weren't ready for whatever reason. It seems like the last thing on this person's mind was being in a relationship, but it seems like that's not how they feel now. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Oh my goodness. So let me get this straight. They want to move forward, but they're trapped in between a rock and a hard place. Like on one hand, and that's why I got that energy when this Knight of um, Wands came out. That they were caught in between still like being promiscuous and like wanting to commit. Right? So they still stuck between a rock and a hard place. This is your challenge with, with, with this relationship. Is your person don't know what the hell they want, Libra? They don't know whether they want to be single or they want to be in a relationship. Yeah. I want to see something. So I'm going to use my, um, my facts, Urban Divine Masculine Truth deck. These are available on SD, but I want to see how this person feels about you. How does this person feel about Libra? I wish I had my other cards out. These ones are kind of beautiful. And sometimes the beauty, you need the realness. Okay, so that's what's going on with them. Thoughts of you go stronger every day. I cannot stop thinking of you. See, this is the problem. 
this person they want on one hand to hold on to their old self but their new self is calling them and their new self is calling them into a relationship and i see you are not going by far you got your hand up and that sword is down which means there's nothing left for you to talk about but this person already knows what it is you want if they're not willing to give you what it is that you desire i don't feel like you're just going for anything how does this person feel about Libra? <laughs> hmm. This is such an interesting energy. I wrote a song about you. Remember I was singing at the beginning of the reading and I was asking, why am I singing? I feel like someone sings or something like that. So it's this person who has that type of energy. Maybe they sing. Maybe they've been singing, you know, love songs or whatever. But um, they wrote a song or a poem or something like that about you, Libra. Their chakras are opening up like you activated them, okay? So maybe their heart chakra was closed or their chakras was closed. It's like you activated this person. And now they're realizing hurting you was hurting myself. Damn, bro, I'm sorry. Like, now they realize. And this is why they're trapped between their old self and their new self, okay? So let's go ahead and get some messages. Close out this reading, see how they feel about you, the final messages. How does this person feel about Libra right now, please? How does this person feel about Libra right now, please? Yeah, I feel like this person's at war with their self, their old self and their new self. <laughs> Lovely marriage, fearless love, and honest communication. Okay, this person has been transformed. Okay, wedding bells are ringing. A courageous leap into the unknown and expect a heart to heart conversation. See, Libra, and that's why they want you to do it because they want to keep their pride and their ego because they've never done this before. They've never had to like change who they were as a person for anyone. It's like you're the first person that makes them want to change. Wow. Okay, Libra. But either way, beloved, that's the message I get for you. I thank you so much for tapping in. Too. See, I still want to sing, so this person must sing or something. But um, thank you for tapping into blackmadonnahp.com. Well, rather, check out blackmadonnahp.com. Um, but thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, love, peace, and so take care.